do you feel about um, the fact that the, you know so much is riding on the 2D of this of this feature? And how do you feel about the future of 2D in general? Um, I think it's exciting. I'm so happy to be here while all this is going on because um, I love 2D. Uh -huh. I've done some computer animation. Uh -huh. I, I like that too. I think right. it's very interesting. But that's more to me like puppet animation oh. with using a computer, uh -huh. which is fine. I, uh -huh. I enjoy it. Uh, but there's a um, something special Getting about drawing hands. the character, mm -hmm. and uh, it's very direct. You know, it's you, the pencil, and the paper, and you create Creating the character. There. Yeah. So you feel like there's a step away for you personally as an mm -hmm. artist. There's a step away when when uh, computers are involved. Um, a little bit, yeah. Right. But um, but there. Are, don't get me wrong. No, I love it's amazing. Computer animation, it's way. watching it on the right. screen. Right. And, and there. And I think it's something that over time you get more connected with. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I, yeah, I'm a firm believer it's not the medium, it's the story and the performances. Mm -hmm. And uh, however, you know, I ha have to say this movie is very important for 2D, mm -hmm. uh, at Disney especially. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm feeling, everybody working on it is feeling very good about the movie. Uh, so we're all excited gorgeous. and we're hoping this means the first of many more, you know. Right. Well, I was saying to Mark, you know, it looks to me like there's so much going on and so rich. Mm -hmm. um, and there's something that 2D can offer in mm -hmm. richness oh, that absolutely. at this point and maybe forever that is, you know, has not really uh, visually hasn't had that kind of richness in terms mm -hmm. of, of computer animation. Um, and so I appreciate the artistry of 2D mm -hmm. in a way um, that I just am so excited about it bring, being brought back in the stories. Mm -hmm that are coming. So, um, what is your background as far as how did you choose to be an animator? How did that happen? It was kind of a roundabout was it? road. Uh, I studied architecture when I was in college. Oh. And w one of the reasons was my dad told me when I was in, uh, in the seventh grade, he said, um, you know, uh, you like drawing cartoons, but you probably can't make a living doing cartoons. So, mm. uh, uh, he was from the Philippines. He said, in the Philippines, everybody thinks Architects are great, and it's a very respectable profession. And I liked science in school as well as art. So he said, I think you should be an architect. So I pursued it, and I actually liked it. Mm -hmm. I went to college to study it. But I graduated in 1975, and we were in the middle of a recession. And nobody was hiring, and I couldn't get work in the field, so I had to switch. And I worked four years at a print shop uh, in the upstairs graphics department and was not very happy, you know, I could do the work, but it wasn't very interesting. Mm -hmm. And then I found out there was an animation studio. I was living in Honolulu at the time. Oh. And uh, my boss actually told me, he, he wasn't the owner of the shop, so he didn't care. <laughs> but he knew I wasn't happy there, so he said, well, I read the paper this morning, there's an animation studio in Honolulu oh. looking for trainees. Uh, maybe That's you so should nice. try it out, wink, wink, you know. So I, I tried, <laughs> and, and I, I actually got, a, got uh, the job. So just, that, yeah. that was my first job in animation. And, this was a very small studio, but, the but it two, happened really fast. I got from yeah, there. It, yeah. Well, it was. It took me four years of trying something I didn't like to Which get was it, what? the oh, graphics okay, working okay, the print yeah. shop. Mm -hmm. It's not the graphic artist, to, not, but, but for you, in you that knew what you yeah. really wanted to do, mm -hmm. and so you were just. It, and but you know when it's the right time, it sort of lands in your lap, right? Right. Yeah. So. It, it just very. You know, I mean, I. It was kind of lucky, a lucky break for me. I. Although I think I was prepared for that lucky break because I had drawn before, I'd taken uh, life drawing classes when I was in college, even though I was studying architecture. So uh, <clears throat> when it came, I was ready for it. And when you're supposed to do something for a living and it brings you joy, mm -hmm. it's, it winds up landing in your lap half the time, yeah. you know? It just mm -hmm. it calls you until you hear it. <laughs> you know, yeah. so that's really nice that you wound yeah, up so. doing that because, you know, you are such a diverse artist in terms of the characters that you mm -hmm. um, uh, created and developed. Um, so what are you, um, when, when you get a little bit caught in um, a problem uh, around um, a scene mm -hmm. or a characterization of something, how do you resolve that for yourself? Or you get sort of stuck as an artist, what do you do to work your way out of that? A lot of times um, I will just do thumbnails. Mm -hmm. Often, uh, thumbnails are something you're supposed to do all the time in the beginning of every scene. Mm -hmm. And um, in the beginning when I started my career, I thumbnailed all the time. But after a while, um, if I knew kind of what I wanted in the scene, I would just go straight into it. Especially mm -hmm. nowadays, you can just rough something out very quick. 
and show it to the directors mm -hmm. uh, on the computer, yeah, even though it's handheld. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but sometimes uh, it's hard even to get to that point because um, you don't quite know what to do. So, of course, you have to talk to the directors and get their input. But even so, um, sometimes I'll find that th doing the thumbnails will actually help. So I wouldn't say I've done that all. A lot, mm -hmm. but I've done it enough when I'm stuck. That's especially a longer scene. It's planning is so essential. Right. You, you can plan it in your head, which is often what I do, or you can thumbnail it out. Well, it's like an outline versus exactly. writing the, the, the if you're writing a novel. Exactly. The chapter. Yeah. You need the outline first mm -hmm. for you. Yeah. As an artist, do you find that you express everything that you need just through creating the characters and developing them, or do you also paint? On the side, um, or do any of that stuff? You this is like does everything you need to do as an artist. Um, animation is definitely a big part of my life, uh, uh -huh. and I, usually uh, when I come home, I'm kind of tired. I guess after a whole day of drawing. And do you you and work nine to five or you work really long hours? Depends. Uh, it depends. Mm -hmm. uh, on this picture, toward the end, we were working long hours, right? And uh, often six days a week, right? Uh, I would say, compared to other productions, this actually has gone very smoothly. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Ron, always a Ron good and John pictures always go smoothly. Uh, that's what I hear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but still, you know, uh, 11, 12 hours a day, six days a week, that's a lot of work. Uh -huh. uh, and when I started my career, uh, I would be so excited, I'd draw all day and then go home and draw some more. Right. I'd sit in front of the TV and, you know, we had VCRs back then that couldn't pause for more than a few seconds, so it forced me to do very quick drawings of like ballet dancers. Right. And if I lingered too long on a drawing, would unpause and go to the next. So it forced forced me to draw quickly. But I did stuff like that. I went to the zoo, and um, I still have my zoo membership to the Greater huh. Los Angeles Zoo Association. Um, but I don't know when I. Do you carry time. your sketchbook around at all still? When or I, um, when I used to go to the zoo. <laughs> no, I don't. I should. And so maybe you're for new artists, I definitely recommend doing that. That's a great thing to do. Right. Go to the mall, go to the zoo, uh, go to the mountains or wherever. But sketch. maybe you're just getting everything out during the day because you have so many problems in terms of the character and the development of I, a facial expression mm -hmm. or something. Well, it definitely is very satisfying. I oh, get a lot nice. of satisfaction from my work. And Makes you happy. It, yeah, I, and I. Can't imagine retiring because I don't know what else I would. Why do. would you when you can yeah. do, when you do what you love? Why would anyone stop? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but still, I feel guilty sometimes. I feel like because okay, a lot of artists at Disney do have a life after Disney, right? And um, they paint or you mean after do, they retire after, or after? No, no, after. I'm sorry. After they go home. After they go home, right? Right. Uh, so life after nine to five or, you know. Uh, but if outside you're not, of Disney, if, if, if what, if what so, you've always wanted to do was cartoons, yeah, I love cartoons. You don't necessarily need to go home and paint. No, you know I mean, what I mean? I'm not a very good painter. But you're great Color is not creating thing, characters, yeah. so that's perfect. That's then you're doing exactly what you're supposed to yeah. be doing. Now I do. Uh, since I was trained as an architect, I love designing and planning and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So. I, I still think I'm a better animator than I would have been an architect. Oh, so I really? actually worked out fine. That's nice. But You're I, I happier. Like to, yeah, I'm happier. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know a lot of friends. So. Yeah, a lot of people don't like what they do for a living yeah. and they get trapped in it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, from my experience and my belief, um, if you do what you love, mm -hmm. you're always successful. Yeah. That you create your own job. Mm -hmm. And I think in some respects, especially supervising animators, they're kind of creating their own job over and over and over again. I mean, you work inside mm -hmm. a big company, yeah. but you're standing there going, I'll take whatever you want character-wise, mm -hmm. and I will turn it into exactly what, you know, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll make it successful, I'll do my mm -hmm. part of that. You know, and that's, um, it's almost like being... You know, you're you're an artist who just happens. To, it's, it's it's so different from al almost any other job in in mm -hmm. a way that is being an artist, and you have to be open minded, and it's a team thing. Exactly. But you're also yeah. working alone all day, so that's mm -hmm. kind of the perfect combination. Yeah.